Hi right, guys, Toss from Cranky Gamers bringing you another unboxing. This is probably my most anticipated one for a long, long time. You've heard me on the podcast say for quite some time now. I support a lot of things on Indiegogo.com, which is like a crowd-funded thing. I ordered this quite some time ago. It's just arrived. Fantastic delivery service in the end. Literally two days from Singapore. It is um, from the guys that it's called a low free keyboard. It's like the ultimate Bluetooth keyboard for MacBook, Windows, iPhones, iPads, the lot. It's Bluetooth switchable. You will get to see it. It's a very beautiful looking keyboard and it's also mechanical. Can't wait to get this open. Can't wait to try it and show you features. So let's get right to it. And straight away, we're going to see a beautiful box. Um, as I say, it's a box. I know it's a box, but uh, basically what I'm going to do, we're going to get right into it. As you can clearly see, the cellophane is on. I have not undone it. This is my first thing. What I am intrigued, part of the low free um, Indiegogo campaign for reaching a certain amount, as most... Um, as most Kickstarters do, there was a an extra set of keys. Now there was three colours you could have had, like a lilac, blue, white, and black. Now I've gone for black. I was very tempted with the white, but just looking at the videos, I just like the look of the black. So let's get into it. I can't wait to see this in the flesh. Um, have we got tape? No, I don't think we have. Um, I hope the keys are inside the extras. I mean, it's not too important, but it was part of a stretch goal. But anyway, here we go. Are you ready? Oh, it's in cellophane. Accessories box. I don't think the extra keys are in here, which is pretty disappointed. It's got quite a bit of weight to it. I'll put the keyboard aside and just give you a quick tour of what's in it. There is a gift box that says there. Obviously, standard manual. It is will be... This is really even top quality paper as well. Now the cool thing about this keyboard, let me just give you a quick recap. It says in the box, low free Bluetooth mechanical keyboard, USB cable, package and user guide. Um, number of keys 78, multimedia keys 12, main body is um, PC it says, backlight as well, white LED. I'm not gonna be able to show that in the video today. Um, Bluetooth, it says this is the battery life. It's a 4000 mAh Leon battery. It's working with the backlight, which works for six months, which is amazing. That's the backlight off. Um, it says Bluetooth working time backlit 40% is three weeks. 70% is two weeks. 100% is about one week on a single charge. Still a great time. Charge time is around five hours. It's USB 3.0. It's a micro USB. It also obviously is a cable to charge. Um, Bluetooth operating distance up to 10 meters in an open space. And that's it. It's basically then got the overview and things. It says when battery is less than 20%, the LED indicator near the Microsoft port will blink rapidly. Please charge. So it's also got the Bluetooth pairing things. But anyway, I will play with that later. Let's have a look at the gift. And I know what this is. This is what was this? There was a basic campaign to give us a few extra keys. Now this this actually gives you a good thing. This is the color of one of the keyboards now this one there was a choice of white black or this color to get an extra set of keys so we've got a few it's not every key on it it's just a couple um specific ones space bar um enter as you can see this is how simple they are to replace so that's that i'm pleased we've got that uh, i'm not going to do this this is basically just the cable um it is a usb cable of a micro usb so I think let's put the box aside and let's get back to the main the main thing. I've got to say, it's got some weight to it. So here we go. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Wow. And I'm just going to show you something. Rubber feet, which I'll come to, that is not moving. I'm really giving that a push. The really clever feet, obviously, you can see a larger foot at the um a larger foot at the front. So lower at the back, I've just heard the click of the keys. Now I'm obviously just going to turn around this to me. And it obviously, now this is what the best thing is. It's mechanical and that is, it sounds beautiful. 
I will say, first use, I've got big hands. Um, the keys are a little small for my fingers. Now, and I will also say, under natural light, the keys aren't very clear to see. I do like that little red key, which is the backspace key, which is a nice touch. I have heard other people not complain as such, but make a comment regarding the directional keys. These four are the directional keys, which is really weird. Look, you've got forward, right, left. In fact, sorry, forward down so that's up and down and that's left and right bit weird but i don't think you'll use it for a gaming keyboard anyway but i just love the sound i really do so i am so excited about this we've even got instructions on the back and i'll come to this because it's worth pointing out i don't think you're going to pick this up on camera you may do it's literally instructions for the side which i'm going to show you now um, also, before I show you that, what I do also want to stress, and this was one of my main points to buy this, when I'm editing the podcast or editing these videos, I have nowhere to put my MacBook because I've got a table. This is my table that you see in here, and I'm quite a way away on a seat, and I can't put it on my lap because it gets too hot. This is the main reason I bought this, because the big selling point, the Mac keys straight away. Let me bring you up for a close-up if we can. So just so you can get what it really looks like. Um, I just love it. That looks like it's lit up the red. It isn't. That's just natural light shining. So let me show you on the side. Again, because it's black, you may not be able to pick this up because of the camera. I hope you can. And indeed you can. Slightly. Micro USB. The light is shining. Sorry there. Bluetooth on, off, and what the cool thing is, look, the switch at the end, Mac OS or Windows, that's the kicker. What the also good thing is, there's three keys somewhere here that you actually allocate for quick change. So you can, like, have your phone, your iPad. So it really is a keyboard for everything. And I can't get over it. It's really got some weight to it, which is really nice for stability. And like I say, if you have it on this, it's not moving. That is really good. So all in all, guys, that's really it. I mean, I can't, I mean, can I switch it on? Has it got a bit of power? Like, oh, it has. Oh, 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 it has. So there's a cool, that is a bonus. So there you have the light, and that is showing up really well. Um, and I'm really pleased to say as well, the keys do now show up absolutely fantastic. In fact, I'm going to show you that because the difference is amazing. Um, let me get in shot, it's a really bit hard. So when I turn it off, look, the keys are like really poor to see. But as soon as you click it on, it's like, wow. That is everything I hoped for. Now, I do believe this is still purchasable on the Indiegogo website. Go on to Indiegogo.com and it's called the Low Free Keyboard. I'm not going to lie, it's not cheap. This costs $98 plus shipping. But it's that much because it's purely mechanical. The keys are swappable in a second. It covers both Windows, Mac, and all the other stuff. So really, it is a keyboard for ever. Probably will edit this video while trying to use it. So there you go. That is the low free Indiegogo campaign. Let me pull this box up so you can just see. Um, it is the Indiegogo low free keyboard. Apologies for the light, but we're just adjusting there. There you are. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Just I, I, it's everything I hoped it was going to be. Um, and I'll obviously talk about it on the show at the next weekend um, when I've had a, a week's use out of it because I will be using this. Probably connect it to my TV as well for searching on the web. Um, I'll connect it to my PC. I'll connect it to the MacBook when I'm editing may even use it for the ipad i don't know that all depends on how quick it's switchable i mean if we've got to start pressing buttons and clicking it's probably not viable for the ipad or the phone but as a main keyboard it's gorgeous i absolutely love it am i happy with the color yep i like the black matte black um will i put the turquoise keys on i'm not quite sure let's have a quick look let me see if, i mean i could probably try and swap one out i mean that is the f3 key so is it a point of it is i've literally just lifted that f3 key off and i think i'm just going to drop this one back on um let me just get this just so you can see 
it literally is a matter of I apologize guys for going out of shot but obviously it's a bit finicky with my big fingers and that's it I literally just have but actually you know what even though the color is a little bit you know a bit of a contrast I think actually people when they voted they wish they'd have gone with either red or white um, but I've got to say I might put some of these keys on depending on what they've given us I will say I probably would have liked an entire set then you have got your you know you've got your you've got more change to it because that actually stands out so you could literally change a key that you're going to use a bit that's a bit more you know a bit more noticeable um, they have said by the way um, later on when they've finished all the shipping they are going to offer extra sets of keys to buy that's the low free keyboard hope you've enjoyed this unboxing i certainly have i can't wait to play with it i've waited so long and i hope you enjoy this video please click like please click subscribe don't forget i'm back on the podcast this week if you don't know so um yeah go ahead and support the site and the show and i will also be on live streaming tonight some gaming and some chat so until then thanks for watching bye for now bye